Nobody likes to look at code like this. That's why we're going to hide this code when we embed this within our blog down Hugo site, our static site. Uh, we want to add advertisements. So the wonderful world of affiliate links. As some of you know, I try to throw some affiliate links out there just to see if I get any bites. So if you buy something off of Amazon after clicking on my links, I get a small piece of that at no extra cost to you. Now, this is an R programming channel and that's what I'm promoting. However, uh, because I do my sites through R Studio using Blogdown and Hugo and Hugo themes, um, I figured this would be a great opportunity for those that are trying to do something similar. Now there's a few steps you have to really be careful about and I'm gonna walk you through them. So first let me show you the website. So this is gonna be a quick and basic. I have a, a website called tourwithmark.com. In fact, I'll go to the homepage here. So I have this homepage and this is the Hugo theme that I've chosen. It's uh, kind of cool, it's got a little collage uh, depending on how you wanna do things. But if I click on my first post here, you can see I have a big thumbnail cover image. I have all kinds of colors. It's, it's like a rainbow over here. Now, scrolling down, here's the video, right? And it's just a video of me touring my, my local area, right? So I, I advise you to check them out. Put them on while you're sleeping because it's really good to go to bed to hear me talk about nothing. Uh, also, also, so what we really want to look at, though, what we're focusing on is down at the bottom left, those advertisements. Notice I have three of these, and it's called Camera Gear Used, right? I don't always want to put an ad somewhere. I don't always want to do that, but sometimes I do. So I want to make that easy for me. So I can make those disappear and reappear with some code. Let's jump into the code, and I will show you what I'm doing. So right here, I have a file. I have now, I already have my project, my Hugo project. Again, go back to the playlist, start at the beginning to get up to speed with Hugo blog down uh, websites. This is an RMD file. This is a new file. So I just did file new, new file, and then I just did R markdown, right? So in this R markdown, all I have is a header that has two hashtags, so that's a second level header, and it says camera gear used. You just saw me point that out right here. So it says camera gear used, and that's what that header is. And then I have all of these HTML iframes with all kinds of stuff in there. Now the first time I was trying to paste these in, oh, first let me tell you where I got these and why I got them. Let's go ahead and go back to the internet here. Let's go to my Amazon affiliate link, and what I want to show you is I did a search. This is my affiliate link. Anybody can sign up that has a relevant website or YouTube channel. So feel free to uh, try that as well. But this particular item I want. So I'm going to click on get link. Let's see what happens. Uh, so it shows me a little picture of it here. And if I scroll down, I've got all of this code. I'm going to highlight it and copy it. That code is what I'm going to use to embed. This ad is customed, customized for me. It's got my... I, my unique tracking ID on there, right? Feel free to use it because if you use my tracking ID, I get paid for it too, so. <laughs> but anyways, it's a mess. So let's go back to uh, my site. I'm gonna add this down at the bottom. Now I created this file. It's called add underscore space dot rmd. That's doing nothing right now. I'm just storing this information there. So I'm gonna call this one the, um, I'm gonna first control V so I don't lose it. So this very last one is the battery that I just bought off of Amazon. It's so that I can power my MacBook Pro without electricity because when, you, when you're using Final Cut Pro, I mean, my battery lasts maybe 45 minutes max and that's ridiculous. So I bought a uh, external battery. Hopefully that'll get me another hour or so out of it, I don't know. But I'm gonna call this uh, battery and I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight it and do Control Shift C to comment it out. You can see it put those, see notice it's the HTML comment, it's not the R comment because I'm not in an R chunk. So there's the battery, I added it, I did nothing else besides paste that HTML in there. One thing you wanna do if you wanna use iframes, which that's what this is, it says iframe at the beginning and at the end it closes out that iframe box. In order to do that, you have to go to your config.toml file. Now this is a little bit, I know this is probably a little bit um, confusing for those that are just jumping in, but I advise you to go back and play the whole playlist. So in your uh, config.toml file, I have this particular set of code here called markup, markup.goldmark, markup.goldmark.renderer, unsafe equals true. It means whatever HTML I put in there, it's going to try to run it. 
right? It's going to render it within my browser. Uh, well, Hugo's going to build it, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know all the internal stuff, but you need to have that unsafe equals true in there. You need this in here to use the iframes. That's also true for YouTube videos, so keep that in mind. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. We've got that completely out of the way. Now, let's go back to my ad space.rmd, which I just created. It's a file that's empty. It's got a header that says camera gear used, and then here are my actual ads. So I'm going to save that, control S. Um, now let's go back to my actual post that I'm creating, and I'll show you a couple things that are new, and you can use this for other than ads. You can use it for anything you want. First, I'm going to scroll down to my code. Um, so this is commented out, line 30. Um, I have my embedded YouTube video here, and then I have camera gear used, which I don't need that anymore because, ah, because I already have it, let's take a look. So notice I have it twice here, let's get rid of that one. So I don't need this here. So as you can see, I know it's a little hard to read because it's red on black, but it's an R chunk. So I just did, you know, Alt Control I for insert R chunk. And then I, I have the letter R in there, comma. Now eval equals params dollar sign ads. You're like, what is that? Okay, so at the top of all of my YAML code, I'm gonna have this particular template, right? So I have categories, tags, I have a summary, which, you know, I'm just throwing these together. I've got an image for the cover. But one thing that I added was params and ads colon space true. You can add as many params as you want. I can create a param called blah colon and I can call it text. It doesn't matter. You can have as many parameters. So whenever I refer to that parameter as params dollar sign blah, it'll replace it with text. And then same thing with the ads true, it'll replace it with true. Now if I decide that I don't want to put ads on this particular page, I just make that false because that's the way I set the code up. Because I do plan on having very particular blog posts that I do not, definitely don't want ads on. Right? Let's say it's a very important subject to me and I don't want the user or the audience to be distracted at all, then I would make no ads. But right now it's set to true. So let's keep that true and let's read this code together. And I know I'm not writing the code with you today, but I want to read it with you and have you understand it. So the eval equals params dollar sign ads. So I've already set that to be true up top. Now imagine I had you know a 10 page blog. All I'd have to do is set it at the very top and not worry about it down here. If I want to cycle through ads and no ads, I just do it at the top on line 21. Now I have this child equals. Now this is the part that's important. My child equals, and I put the absolute URL on there. You don't have to do it that way. You can do a relative, but either way, it's the path to that add underscore space dot rmd file right here that I just added. So it literally just takes this information and it embeds it inside of inside of my R chunk. And when you do that, it just literally prints this onto my markdown file which gets rendered as HTML. Sounds complicated, but it's really not that bad. You might run into problems when you start trying to um, make these into variable names because again, you have a lot of escape characters within this. I don't have to worry about that because I'm, I'm making it all HTML and that's it. So you don't see anything in this chunk, by the way, nothing. So let's go ahead and just save it. And I'll show you that I added that one more ad. Remember over here, I've got three ads. I should have four when I render this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add these all to my Git. So commit, and then I'll say added fourth advertisement, hit commit, close, push, let it do its thing. Give it a few seconds. All right, now it's pushed that to GitHub. Let's go over to Netlify real quick. And this is where I host my site. I log in, I click on Tor with Mark, and now you can see it's building the site right now as we speak, building. And I have no patience, so what I do is I usually just refresh everything, right? Uploading, so it's that quick. Let's go back to my site. I have three here. I'm gonna hit refresh. And this is all real time, by the way. I'm, I haven't edited this out yet, boom. There's my fourth ad right there. And that was as simple as that. Now, anytime I wanna add, anytime I wanna put an ad there for any post, oop, let me find my bearings here. All I have to do is include this line of code right here. And I don't have to worry about what ads, I can switch the ads, I can replace the ads. 
every time I want to replace the ad, I can just go over here and replace the ad.